Hello YouTube, size 17 here, but you can just call me Travis. And welcome back, finally, for another collection update. Uh, yeah, I know it's been a couple weeks since I've done a video, and actually about a month since I've actually done it last, uh, last since I last did a collection update. Uh, truth is, I just haven't really been buying as much uh, stuff lately. Uh, money has been going towards uh, other avenues for the time being. Uh, still buying stuff, just not uh, at the same uh, at the same level that I have have been doing. Uh, so yeah, I finally got enough stuff stacked up that it was worth doing a video. And actually, uh, you know, some pre-orders are actually coming in. And actually, I probably should have one, I assume, next week as well. So uh, hopefully I'll be back at a more steady pace, but uh, still kind of up in the air. Just kind of depending on how much, how much stuff I'm buying. So not quite sure, but we'll see. Anyway, I uh, got four things here. All are, uh, all are, yeah, they're all, they're all 2018 releases. I uh, just want to hit a couple of uh, things before we get into that. Uh, first off, uh, uh, Anthony, you probably don't hear him maybe on uh, here YouTube as Light Eternal. He uh, just released a uh, folk country kind of uh, album, kind of a, a cool thing. Maybe I wouldn't say maybe outlaw country, maybe an attitude, but uh, that's folky country kind of thing. If you're into that kind of style, I'll leave a link to his band camp. Check that album out. Uh, not really my style in general, but there's a couple tracks on there I, I, I kind of dig a lot. So that's it's definitely worth checking out. And then uh, and then secondly, um, I've been I've been doing this. I've been involved in this kind of uh, music league thing that I've been doing for uh, I don't know maybe a couple months now. Uh, it's sort of think sort of like fantasy, like football or baseball, or whatever. But like for music, and the general idea is that uh, there's X number of people in the league. And everyone submits a uh, uh, through, the, through this like music league app that was created specifically for doing this. Uh, you submit a song anonymously uh, from Spotify, and then once everyone's uh, songs are submitted, it compi compiles into an anonymous list, and then you can like uh, you give votes and negative votes towards uh, songs uh, based on you know whatever your criteria is, and there's sort of themes and stuff like that. For example, I just started. Uh, my second league and actually what it's going to be is each week is going to be your favorite song from the month of 2018 so like for example uh we just did our first week so my favorite song from january of 2018 is is the song that i submitted so uh it's super fun to have. it's i've been enjoying it tons uh with my other one and uh yeah so i i, th I had the idea that i could maybe uh you know do some uh, uh make a league with people on here if they would be interested. So if you are interested, uh, I'll leave uh, my email address alone below in the description. Just email me and just say, hey, what's up? Uh, I am interested in uh, in the Music League idea. Or maybe just comment down below. You can do that too, I suppose. Uh, anyway, moving on. If that sounds cool, just uh, email me. Uh, let's get into the music. In the background, we're listening to uh, Scourge by Monotheist. This is an awesome tech death release out this year definitely still on my top list for the end of the year yeah keep on coming back to this one i like it a lot all right we got a couple cds uh three cds uh and a tape let's uh let's let's start with this one uh this one came out i don't know maybe a couple weeks ago and finally i got my hands on it it is the uh the new one from uh doom meddlers from the uk uh, Conan, uh, this one is called Existential Void Guardian. I really like this album art. I think it's really good. Uh, yeah, this is the, uh, what, the fifth album now from these guys? Uh, three piece. Uh, they do have a new drummer, which actually I think the drums on this album are probably one of my favorite parts. Uh, I really think that it, it does a great service to the album as a whole. Actually, it's a full piece. I didn't just realize that just now. But yeah, uh, you know, if you if you've heard a previous Conan record, this one is going to be right up your. Uh, or it's going to be it's up the same alley. It's good stuff. Uh, it's kind of more on that that sledgy kind of a doom uh, side of things. Uh, the vocals are kind of that like clean yell, if that makes any sense. Uh, yeah, just uh, I would actually probably say that. Uh, the one that came out previous to this one, Revengeance, was probably my least favorite of, of uh, Conan's releases. And uh, this one actually, I think, uh, kind of jumps back up a step. 
Maybe it was the, the addition of the new drummer. Not sure. But uh, anyway, yeah, I really, really into this one. It's pretty good. I've been listening to it a lot since picking it up. And like I said, if you uh, if you are familiar with Conan's work, you are going to be getting a Conan album here. So uh, if you like the other work, you're going to like this one too, I, uh, I, I would assume. So yeah, Existential Void Guardian by Conan. Uh, yeah, really enjoy this one. Next one up. This one is an, an, another release out on 20 bucks spin this year. 20 bucks spin has been killing it. This one, this one came out, I don't know, like July or August. So I've been kind of behind the ball on this one. But finally picked it up. This is a Coffin Birth by Extremity. Uh, this is a uh, death metal band out of the United States. I think California. Just a uh, tangent for a second. My 20 bucks spin order came with this... Uh, Awesome card of some sort. There's Dracula or something on the front. Vampire, at least. Anyway, uh, on back to this album. Uh, these guys are now a three-piece. They were a four-piece on their EP last year, uh, which I really like that that release too. Uh, but uh, this one is a full album, and uh, yeah, it's it's just as good. It's awesome, really catchy, uh, very much like sort of in like a carcassy kind of vein. Uh, super, super catchy breaths, uh, awesome, awesome uh, solo work and stuff. Uh, just really, really fantastic. This album is really great. Uh, just, I just love the riffing. The riffing is fantastic. Here's our three piece. We've got uh, Shelby Laramo and uh, Marissa, what's it, uh, Martinez Hoadley and Aesop Decker. But yeah, if you, if you, li- if you liked, uh, if you liked the EP, you're gonna. You're gonna like this too. And this one is is uh, excellent. Oh, well, this one also is a, is a. I just realized also now that this is a full art piece. Shows how observant I am. But yeah, it's it's cool to kind of get a uh, because because uh, the EP was like what it was like 26 minutes, which I don't know. It's 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 almost kind of full like album at that point. But uh, this one rock clocks in around 40, so it's it's nice to get a little extra. Uh, yep, really, really enjoy this one. This will almost definitely show up on the list by the end of the year. But, uh, yeah, really great death metal release. And, uh, I highly recommend you check it out. Extremity. Coffin birth. All right, let's, uh, uh, shift to a tape for the moment. Uh, this is an, an interesting release. Uh, this, I missed out on the CD on this one, so I, I had to pick up the tape. This is, uh, uh, it's kind of an EP, mini album, whatever you want to call it, from uh, Neckbeard Death Camp. Uh, the uh, album is titled White Nationalism is for Basement Dwelling Losers, which is a statement that I can get behind. Uh, this is a, uh, as you might assume, a, uh, I would say, I don't know, a parody, satire uh, band sort of going off of NSBM. Uh, music, black metal is their the general style of this. There's a bit of I don't know, it's just like noise kind of something going on with it. Uh, yeah, pretty good stuff. It's nothing that actually is super amazing or great. Uh, it definitely uh, bought it more for novelty than anything else. Just came some kind of came on this uh, generic shiny black tape, and then the J cards just like white on the inside, so. Pretty much uh, nothing going on in terms of packaging, but uh, kind of just uh, a funny, cool thing to have just for the the parody satire sake of things. So yeah, as always, if you want to check it out, I'll leave links uh, to everything that I show in the description. So yeah, this is Neckbeard Death Camp with White Nationalism is for Basement Dwelling Losers. All right, this last one is uh, is the one that was uh, a little overdue. Uh, I probably had it now, actually, probably maybe a month now, actually. Uh, I got probably a little less, three weeks. But uh, I sort of I had the the, the, the behind the scenes story of why it took so long, and I, whatever. I'm not gonna even worry about caring about having to wait for it. But uh, anyway, it came in this awesome, cool little package. Uh, This is the actual, yeah, the actual name of the artist and the name of the album. Laser Punk, Death and Glory. 
all the way from Hungary, which is where this artist is from. Uh, is a uh, synthwave artist, I would say definitely uh, le le less so straight up synthwave because it definitely is more of like a uh, club electronic vibe to this uh, this project. So definitely not straight up synthwave. Uh, here's the CD, I'll get to that in a second. Death and Glory, like I said, by Laserpunk. This is an artist I came across uh, last year sometime on Bandcamp. Uh, actually with their previous album, which I still would need to purchase at some point. We just haven't done it. But uh, when, that, when, that, when this one came out and I listened to it, I was like immediately like blown away by how much I enjoyed it. And it was, it was a pretty immediate purchase. Uh, anyway, I got like the edition or whatever that came with stuff. So came with uh, this actually some stickers for a different band, Chaotic. I think it's probably how you pronounce it. Bunch of uh, laser punk stickers. Some laser punk death and glory stickers, like kind of the stamp on the the mailing envelope. This is his uh, black metal logo. He has a like a shirt that has this on it. It's pretty cool. Uh, and here's a uh, I can't remember if this is actually part of it or not. If he just threw it in, but uh, here's like an old school poster because as you can see it has the black metal logo of it. Here's him like standing on the hood of a car. And then a uh, and then a poster of the like the album art. And so I just saw this now. I didn't actually open this before. On the back it says Power to you Travis Laser Punk. So there you go, there's a nice little surprise. Did I miss out on this one? I don't think so. No. Alright, and then it came with three little uh, pieces of paper. This one is sort of just a uh, thanks for uh, supporting me. It's cool. This one is sort of a uh, like a treatise of like what what is be what is behind the album Death and Glory, which is kind of an interesting read. And then this one is sort of a uh, sort of a uh, I know that I this is really late, etc. Letter, and then also some uh, artists that he says these guys helped him out on this record, so you should check them out. Uh, I, I will tell them to you now. Uh, like I said, the artist I said before on the sticker, the chaotic artist, uh, Daniel Deluxe, uh, Macabre, Robin Clarij, it's, it's C-L-A-R-I-J-S, looks like it's spelled, I'm not sure how you say that, my apologies, and Franco Farkas, you can see the names there. So yeah, if you, if you check out this artist from the link that I believe and you, or, or you already know Laserpunk, uh, and you enjoy it, check out these artists too, maybe. All right, so like I said, Synthwave Artist uh, very much has sort of a, you know, a club, uh, electronic-ness uh, to it, very like harsh beats, very like, uh, you know, very beat heavy, you know, club, club, you know what I mean. Like the, it's a very, uh, very well put together uh, digipack, very, this very well put together package. Perfect. Just the inside. Death. Glory. Anyway, yeah, this one, awesome release. Uh, came across this back when I was like, was like my probably my peak for the year in uh, in synthwave, and yeah, just 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 like one of the best that I heard will definitely be on my list for the end of the year. Really into this one. And yeah, I definitely recommend this release for anyone who has enjoyed any of the synthwave that I have uh, talked about or played or anything this year. Definitely recommend you check out this one. So I think you will highly enjoy it. This one is for you, Marvel and Cole. And actually, uh, I, I don't know if I read it or heard it or wow, how I know this, but at one point, the song Black Lambo, uh, like he didn't intend it to, it wasn't going to be on the album. And then like at the last second, like someone else convinced him that he needed to put it on there. 
And yeah, I agree. It's like one of my, it's probably a top three track on the album for me. It's really, I really like that song. Really enjoy also this really fat, nice put together uh, liner notes booklet with, uh, with the cool art and stuff in there. Anyway, yeah, awesome release. Really enjoy this one a lot. Uh, Listen to this one a ton lately too, actually. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoy electronic music, synthwave, laser punk, death and glory, definitely give this one a spin. I think that you might like it. Uh, so yeah, like I said, uh, I apologize for being absent. Just like I said, I've been not uh, been buying as much lately, so I didn't want to make a video with like one CD per week or whatever. So took a month, but here I am. And uh, like I said, I think, well, I've said, like I said, like a bajillion times in like the last minute. Uh, I think I will have uh, some stuff showing up this next week. So I think I'll probably be here a week from now. So if that's true, check me out then. And uh, yeah, check out, check out uh, Tony John's uh, folk country release. I'll leave a link for that. And then also let me know if you're interested in uh, doing like a music league kind of thing. I think that uh, I think it's a lot of fun, and I think uh, you will have lots of fun probably too if you are interested in doing that. All right, enough rambling. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're familiar with any of these releases, please let me know what you think of it. And otherwise, have a great day.